This video gives you a step-by-step -step process for correctly overriding a pulse width modulated or a PWM valve when used in conjunction with new leader equipment. Always think safety first. Before beginning the override process or working on any equipment, always be sure to wear protective eyewear and use proper tools. You should also thoroughly clean the entire unit to minimize any potential contamination. Note that this adjustment requires the spinners to be turning at high speed. Be sure to keep everyone clear of the spinner area as contact with spinners or flying material can be dangerous. This adjustment must be made with the engine running at normal field speed. To set the PWM valve manually, you will first need to unplug the valve harness. Once the valve harness is unplugged, you can loosen the jam nut and turn the set screw clockwise until the desired spinner speed is obtained. After the correct spinner speed is reached, you can lock the jam nut. To return to the automatic mode, first make certain that the hydraulics are engaged. Then loosen the jam nut and turn the set screw counterclockwise until the spinner stop. You can now lock the jam nut and plug in the valve harness. This is the proper method for manually overriding the PWM valve. Remember, regular maintenance and adjustments are key to the longevity of your equipment. To keep your equipment running smoothly and efficiently, always use genuine new leader replacement parts. New leader parts are made from the finest materials and meet our high exacting standards. If you have any questions or problem during installation, please contact New Leader Service Department at 1-800-363-1771